trees are another kind of recursive data structure. So tree structured data is what happens when you nest sequences within sequences within sequences. You get hierarchical structures. So let's look at these tuples within tuples. One, two, three, four, five is a tree. I've highlighted in different colors different parts of the tree. And in every tree there is a vast forest of smaller trees. So here you see one, two, three, four, and five pictorially where the contents of the green tuple is one, two, and then three, four, and then five. And these are called three branches of the tree. This branch contains two more branches. This branch contains two more branches as well. And this branch just contains the number five. So what do I mean in every tree of vast forest? Well, here's a tree, but there's a tree as well. And there's a tree as well. And it's even quite natural to call each leaf of the tree a tree itself. What's the leaf? Well, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, and there's the fifth. So if we think of all of these things that I've circled as trees, then tree processing becomes quite simple using recursive functions. So tree operations typically make recursive calls on all the branches of the tree, if there are any. So if we're just representing a tree using nested tuples, then as long as there are more elements of a tuple, we're going to need to make recursive calls. Let's look at some examples. So let's say I want to count the leaves in a tree T. Well, there's only one leaf if T is in fact a leaf. Otherwise, we're going to sum up the result of counting leaves on all the branches. How do we map a function? over all the elements in a tree t. Well, we just compute fin of t if t is a leaf. Otherwise, we have to combine together the result of mapping this function over each branch of the tree into its own tree. So in these cases, the base case is a leaf. And we can write down these functions in a pretty straightforward manner. Okay, we'll start out by just defining a tree that we're going to play around with. We'll call it T. And what might we want to do? We might count the leaves of some tree T. How will that work? Well, if the type of T isn't a tuple, meaning we've reached a leaf, then there's one leaf. Otherwise, what shall we do? How about we return the sum of mapping the count leaves function over all the elements in T? So if we count leaves of T, then we get five leaves, as we'd expect. What if we make a really big tree, which includes T? and then some more t's. So what is tt? It's this massive thing. And how many leaves should it have? Well, I would hope that we'll have three times five is 15 leaves. What else we might want to do? Well, we talked about mapping a function over all the leaves in a tree. So we'll map fun over the tree if we've reached the bottom of the tree, then we'll just return whatever we get by applying function to t. Otherwise, we'll return a new tree, which is whatever result we get by calling map tree on each branch in that tree. So if we get the function that squares and we map over the tree t, the square function, then we'll get the square of each leaf. 